So you do not feel attractive enough or spunky enough for somebody or somebody just doesn't see that in you. Let's work on that, shall we? Hi, this is Liana, Holistic Intimacy Coach. Welcome back to my channel. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna work on feeling spunky and transmitting that vibe whenever we interact with people that we want to see that in us. And we're gonna work on them through breath, inhaling and exhaling through the mouth, we're going to work on it through um, squeezing our pelvic floor, okay, squeezes. And just to let you know, our pelvic floor is the epicenter of our spunk. It's got to be activated somehow, either through contracting that muscle or through touching it. And last but not least, we're going to use our erotic voice, meaning we're going to say some words. And we're going to say them with an attitude. A spunky attitude. That being said, let's get into it. So we're gonna close our eyes and we're just gonna sit down comfortably and we're gonna start doing 15 inhale and exhale basic, okay? Just to warm up. So let's go. This was five. This was ten. This was 15. If you are dizzy, like I just got, first of all, I'm gonna have to move a bit. And what you're gonna do is basically um, just press on your scalp. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get back into our body and move a bit of the blood flow. So I'm feeling better. <clears throat> what we're going to do now is uh, we're only going to do 10 <laughs> inhales and exhales. As we inhale and then exhale, we're going to respectively squeeze and then release the pelvic floor muscle. Okay? So 10, here we go. Inhale and squeeze. Exhale and release. Again, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Three. Four, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Here comes five. Six, inhale, squeeze, exhale, release, seven, inhale, squeeze, exhale, release, eight, inhale, squeeze, exhale, release, nine, inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. And last one, inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. That wasn't so bad, right? I hope you're not dizzy. I'm not. Here comes the erotic voice part. We're going to inhale because we need some air. On the exhale, we're going to utter words. 
I'm gonna use my instinct. I'm just gonna spell out, speak out, splur out, <laughs> whatever comes to mind. You can either say the same thing or say something else. Don't worry, you guys get to see me. We're almost 6,000 people here. Nobody else gets to see you, okay? So don't worry about feeling ridiculous. So close your eyes again. I am attractive. Man, I'm hot. Brother, I am super hot. You gotta be insane to not like me. Somebody take you to the hospital. <laughs> Your loss, big time. I always win because I always have me. I am hot off the Richter scale. I am hot for me, for what I need to be. I am attractive in the way that I want to be attractive. I am attractive even when I'm hurting, when I'm broken, shattered, lovesick, and all of that. I am attractive all through that. No matter how many people disregard me as an intimate partner, I'm so precious, I'm still erotic, I'm still magnetic, and I am spunky in the way that I want to be. I am vulnerable, therefore I am erotic. I show myself in my raw nature. I am succulent because of that. My fears, my worries, they make me the best partner ever. They do not intimidate. To the contrary, they bring out the best in my partner. Keep your eyes closed for a bit. I have a message for you. I know that whenever we are slighted by somebody or just disregarded or we are not reciprocated, the natural tendency is to close down, to take a wound, either a new wound or simply deepen an already existing wound. And that usually leaves a scar, and it's usually something that we, though we don't want to, we bring it up in the next relationship. So please hear me out, and if you want, you can touch your own chest, so your heart space. I really did, I really did mean what I said earlier. I am vulnerable, and that makes me the best erotic partner ever. Even if you're going through just a low sex drive, even if you're going through 
rejection or being disregarded or slighted completely, no matter what you're going through, your spunk is still there. Your succulence, your delight, your magnetism, all that erotic juice is still there in you. Whatever you do, however low you go, please remember that is the very root of who we all are. We are never attractive for everybody on the planet, and we shouldn't be, but we can still be attractive and spunky and magnetic for ourselves. And we don't need to binge on ice cream or popcorn or any other kind of junk food or TV shows or any other kind of stupid things. We don't need that. All we need is practice. And I hope this practice will have helped you. Now, before we open our eyes, first of all, I want to thank you for joining me thus far. Please let me know in the comments what this did for you. I would really love to know. And now, to get out of the practice, we're going to rub our hands. We're going to cup them over the eyes. We're going to hold them for 10 seconds. I'm going to count them, don't worry. And first we're going to open our eyes and we're going to roll them. Okay, this is legitimately eye gymnastics. And when you're ready, you're going to release the hands. Okay. So I would love to know what this practice did for you. This was a bit longer, but this was also for healing. So sometimes we need a bit longer time. That's it. I will see you tomorrow with another practice. Bye.